Positioning implants serve as aids in implant prosthetics. They help with the accurate positioning of abutments. Here you see a yellow positioning template on two implants placed on the plaster model. In the animation you see a tooth implant anchored in the bone. A transition piece is mounted on this implant. This is called an abutment. The abutment is the link between the dental crown and the implant. Now in the animation you see how the abutment is screwed together with the implant. Only then is the crown fastened. The crown is the part you see in the mouth. There are different types of abutment or implant links. We usually distinguish between two kinds. Those equipped with and those without anti-rotation protection. Anti-rotation protection means that the abutment only lines up with the implant in a certain position. The advantage of this type of link is easier handling in case of implant prosthetic work. The disadvantage of this so-called plug connection is the micro gap that exists between the abutment and the implant. You can find out more in the video entitled Micro Gap. In cases of plug connections, bone deterioration can frequently be observed. More on that in the video entitled Conical Connection. For now, suffice to say that the phenomenon of bone deterioration does not occur in conical connections because there is no micro gap between the abutment and the implant. However, handling is a bit more complicated because of the lack of anti-rotation protection. Without anti-rotation protection in the abutments, conical connections require the dental technician to provide the dentist with a type of positioning template that he can use to transfer the position from the plaster model to the patient's mouth so that the abutments are screwed into the correct position at the implant. Here you see a plaster model with two crowns on implants. Once the crowns have been removed, you can see the two abutments, which are made of titanium. When viewed from above, the screw connecting the abutment to the implant can be seen. The yellow positioning template is placed on the abutments and its proper fit is checked. Afterwards, the two abutments, including the positioning template, are released from the plaster model. Meanwhile, the gingiva formers are removed from the implants in the patient's mouth. Afterwards, the abutments are placed on the implants in the correct position, thanks to the use of the positioning template, and are soon after tightened with a torque ratchet. Now the yellow positioning template can be removed. Rotating the tightened abutments is no longer possible. And finally, the implant crowns are fastened to the abutments.